Stardew Valley's 1.6 update just came out and with it comes a whole bunch of new additions such as the books. Not to be confused with the lost books which go into the museum. Most books will give you permanent buffs or quality of life changes. You can check that in your menu via special items and powers. While others are a one-time use like the Mining Monthly or the Combat Quarterly, giving you instant experience for the skill. These are not displayed in the menu since they can be obtained multiple times. On a side note, all books can be gifted to Penny since these are a new loved item for her. There's a total of 26 books to be found, so let's take a look. And this probably goes without saying, but massive spoilers ahead for 1.6. First of all, let's talk about the bookseller. He will appear twice every season on random dates. You can see your dates in-game at the calendar in front of Pierre's store. In case you forgot to check the calendar, there will always be a message in the morning on the left corner of your screen whenever he's visiting. He is located across the town's river behind the Georgia Mart. The shop sells a random assortment of books each visit and you can also trade books with him for various items. Here are all the books that can only be bought from the bookseller and cannot be found anywhere else. The Way of the Wind Part 1 grants you a permanent speed boost while running and costs 15,000 gold. After purchasing the first part, you can acquire the Way of the Wind Part 2. This again will give you a permanent speed boost and costs 35,000 gold. This is one of the more expensive books, but definitely worth it and one of my favorite additions. It's so nice to finally run a bit faster without using any mods. The horse book costs 25,000 gold and gives you a slight speed boost while riding your horse. The old slitter legs will grant you a permanent speed boost while running through grass and crops. You can purchase it for 25,000 gold. The Queen of Sauce cookbook is the most expensive book he has in stock and costs a whopping 50,000 gold. The price is justified though, since you will learn any cooking recipe that you haven't learned from the Queen of Sauce cooking channel which is great for people like me, who always forget to watch the show. And lastly, the prize catalog. Purchase price is a meager 3000 gold, and upon reading it, you can now see the sell price of your own items. Moving on to books that can be acquired doing various tasks, quests, bought from merchants, or by simply playing the game. The animal catalog can be purchased from Marnie's ranch store for 5000 gold. Upon reading it, you can now access her store when she's not around, which is absolutely amazing. Bait and Bobber will give you 250 fishing experience when reading it. This can be purchased from a bookseller for 5000 gold, but can also be found randomly from fishing treasure chests, artifact spots, golden mystery boxes, chopping down trees, breaking crates in the mines, and from killing grubs. It also has a chance to appear on the traveling card stock, but with increased price of 6000 gold. You can also trade the book at the bookseller for 30 deluxe bait. The Book of Stars will grant you instant experience in all skills. This can be bought from the bookseller for 15,000 gold or, and this is stated on the wiki, given by the raccoon upon completing his fourth quest. Though I'm not sure how true this actually is because I got a different reward from completing his fourth quest. So if you have any more info on that, then please let me know. If you're already maxed out in your skills, you will get 1250 mastery points instead. This book can also be traded in for 8 fairy dusk via the bookseller. The Book of Mysteries can only be found in mystery or golden mystery boxes and permanently increases your chance of finding mystery boxes. This is probably one of the rarest, if not the rarest book in the entire game. Mystery boxes on its own are quite rare already, so I would love to know what the chances of finding this are. Anyways, Combat Quarterly gives you an instant 250 combat experience. This can be purchased from the bookseller for 8000 gold, fishing treasure chests or golden mystery boxes. You can also trade this book for one monster musk at the bookseller. The Dwarvish Safety Manual can be bought from the dwarf's shop in the mines. It costs 4000 gold and permanently reduces the damage of bombs by 25%. Friendship 101 is a book that will make it easier for you to befriend everyone in town and can be bought from the bookseller for 20,000 gold or is given as a reward from the prize machine in Lewis House. Jack be nimble, Jack be thick can be acquired via the bookseller for 20,000 gold or from digging up artifact spots. This gives you a permanent plus one defense buff. Jewels of the Sea can once again be purchased from the bookseller for 20,000 gold 
or from fishing treasure chests. This will unlock the power to obtain roll from fishing treasure chests. You can also trade the book for either 3 cave, river or sea jelly. Mapping cave system is a book that can be found in a box at the adventure guild. This room is only accessible after slaying a thousand monsters. Reading the book will grant you a 50% discount on Marlon's atom retrieval. Mining monthly will give you an instant 250 mining experience. This can be bought for 8000 gold at the bookseller, from fishing treasure chests, mystery and golden mystery boxes, and chopping trees. The monster compendium can only be found while slaying monsters. Upon reading it, you now have a small chance to get double loot from any monster. You can also trade the book to the bookseller for a slime incubator or a slime egg press. The Stardew Valley Almanac, Almanac? Not sure how to pronounce this, can be acquired from the bookseller from fishing treasure chests or as a prize from the prize machine in Lewis's house. This will give you instant 250 farming experience and can be traded in for two pepper poppers at the bookseller. The Alleyway Buffet is a book that can be found in a golden trash can which is hidden behind a tree between the blacksmith and the Jota Mart. There is a secret path right above the minecart where you can enter the area, but you will need a steel pickaxe and steel axe in order to progress. Upon reading the book, you will gain a permanent power that will increase your chance of finding items in trash cans. The Art of Crabbing is given as an Iridium tier reward for catching 8 squid at the Squid Festival and gives you a 25% chance for crab pots to yield double items. The Diamond Hunter can be traded for 10 diamonds with the Dwarf in the Volcano Dungeon. This makes all stones to have a permanent chance to drop a diamond when mined by hand. The Treasure Appraisal Guide can be bought from the bookseller for 20,000 gold, or from mystery boxes and artifact troves. This will grant you better sale prices for artifacts and is a permanent power. The Raccoon Journal is given to you as a reward from the Raccoon upon completing the second request. Additionally, it can be traded from the Raccoon's wife for 999 fiber. This book increases your chance of finding mixed seeds while cutting down weeds. Woodcutters Weekly can be found while fishing treasure chests, cutting trees, or from the Kaliku Egg Merchant during the Desert Festival for 100 Kaliku Eggs. You can also buy the book from the bookseller for 8000 gold. This gives you instant foraging experience and can also be traded in for 100 wood. And lastly, Wood is Secret. This book can only be obtained while cutting trees. It gives you a permanent 5% chance for trees to yield double wood. Additionally, it can be traded for 20 hardwood via the bookseller. And there you have it, all 26 books in Sturdy Valley. I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions then just comment down below. Thanks for watching!